Now, if you remember from earlier uh, in this uh, tutorials and on my pages, I had a rule that said you are not under any circumstances to post my domains on any advertising medium except for your email. I don't want any of my domains blacklisted, and I'm very, very serious about that. That being said, I'm going to show you how to avoid that, keep in good graces with me, uh, and therefore uh, everybody's happy. Um, so uh, you should have a code that looks something like this that you got from the previous ad when you made your picture. Uh, when you made your picture, uh, it starts a href, and then there'll be a web page here. I've highlighted it in yellow. This code is essentially telling um, the browser. Oops. It's telling the uh, the browser where to redirect to, and target equals underscore blank means um, send them to another page and put it in another tab. So don't take them off this page. Open up another page in their browser. So what we want to do is this whole yellow area that's highlighted that'll say a long strand with photo bucket in it. You want to uh, copy that and you want to uh, essentially get a, a redirected link that's going to send them to the IWC Telecenter web address. You are not to put IWC Telecenter in here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm now going to show you how to create these links using a whole bunch of different sites uh, that, that there's access to, uh, and that way you'll have an unlimited supply of ads uh, and never get flagged. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up in my browser right here um, tinyurl.com. This site's been around the longest and this is known by online marketers. This site is now blacklisted from Craigslist. So anyone on Craigslist that uses a tiny URL will automatically get ghosted. So when they don't understand why they're being ghosted, that's probably got something to do with it. And that's why I'm so sincere and so adamant about you not using any of my direct links on a Craigslist ad. Uh, if I get flagged because somebody doesn't follow directions, I am not going to be happy and I will take measures and we're not even going to go there. <laughs> Let's keep it positive today and I'm going to show you how to beat Craigslist and at the same time stay in my good graces and uh, and get, get, get top performance for the minimum amount of time. Tiny URL, do not use. Um, one of the ones I'm using right now is VZT URL, and I've had a very good success on Craigslist and other sites. Um, you do need to log in, uh, so I've already created a login. Here's a bunch of URLs that I have, um, but you'll have to log in and create an account. Um, if you see, I've already created one for IWCTeleCenter.com, um, and it's VZT URL hv47 in my case um, and then i created one for safe.iwctelecenter.com each of those are different um, pointing things or different addresses you would use the vzt url so in doing that you should have a, a notepad of all the different links that you can use safe iwc trial xyzx work play uh, etc etc phones from home fortune 500 Forbes and I'll be continually adding ones in there so just check back on this page but um, let's say uh, we'll go here and go to play.iwctelecenter.com and we're going to click enter and boom that's going to take us to this link right here if we hit control copy and we open up a new browser control paste if we hit that, boom, that should take us to the page that we want. Now, we didn't use my link. We didn't use IWC Tele Telecenter. Everybody's happy. I'm happy. And your ads are sticking, which is essentially what you want to do. So then they go to the site. They watch the brief five-minute explanation welcome, welcome. as I talk and about thank you for But um, And then they go ahead and they, after you watch the video, go ahead and... Uh, call back, email or call us back, legitimate business and there's no cost. But So this is where we're trying to send them to. Now, you've created your link on that site. Another good site is is.gd. Um, and then again, here's the iwctelecenter.com. And we can go ahead and shorten it. Your shortened URL, there we go. We'll copy that. And we'll open up a new browser. And I'll show you that it's working. And it works right away. Boom. It redirects you to the site. Takes them to the site we want them to be on. Um, okay. Let me go ahead and put it in there. 
and we're going to save it. There's So now we've got two redirects already, and we're going to do that for each of these at a bunch of different sites um, for all of the different uh, domains and subdomains that I have. That way it further changes your, um, uh, your ad. So if we go to shrinkthislink.com, um, you put it in there, and you can actually choose if you want it as a URLMIN, which is in this case we'll use that one first. And basically this just gives us um, two choices. Um, we'll do iwctelecenter.com, and we shrink the link to a URLM, uh, and it is that. And we copy that. We open up a new browser window, hit control V. We want to check them all as we go to make sure that they're all working. Yep, and once again, another one's working. So we'll go back to our notepad and we'll go ahead and hit control V for the telecenter link. Now let's change it to a shrunk link. Um, and we'll do the same thing, HTTP, IWC, telecenter.com. And then we'll go shrink this link. And what do you know? We got a different address. Shrunk link at OEGU. And we'll copy that. We'll open this. New browser. Paste it. Go ahead and check to see what's going on. Oh, what do you know? It takes us to the web page that we're looking for. All right. So we'll go back under here under our section. So here's another redirect. And what we're doing is we're creating all these um, redirects, we want to make sure it says HTTP on here. Uh, we don't want to have any issues later. But um, essentially, now I have four different addresses that I can put in um, to right here where you see here. That's four different ads according to, to Craigslist. Now, this green section here, earlier when I said you're going to upload a bunch of the same picture to a photo bucket you can change this with any of the different source codes in photo bucket so as you can see we're creating the one image ad but it's an indefinite it's an infinite supply of varying ads on craigslist um, which is why i have a very good success in posting on craigslist and don't have any issues but um, that's a very simple uh, my windows is screwing up today that's very simple how to get um, the URL shorteners uh, underneath this video you will see a number of uh, uh, programs or a number of my redirects my redirects you are not allowed to use uh, so anything that says IWC telecenter in the name uh, should not be posted what you want to do is you want to take those redirects you want to take them and go to one of these sites that I provide underneath this video. You want to shrink that link down so it creates its own funny little code. And that funny little code will still point to where you want it to point to. You're going to take that funny little code. Uh, you're going to save them all so you know where your ads are. And then you're going to put them in this, this uh, code snippet. Uh, you're going to replace the everything in between the, uh, the quotation marks. So I've already replaced it for the photo bucket ad to show you, but yours should have a big long thing in here that's photo bucket. That's essentially telling people where they want to go. Uh, the second portion is telling people what the picture looks like and where the picture is hosted. So we, we never want to change this. And photo bucket is whitelisted on Craigslist. So using a photo bucket uh, is no issue. Now, using the same picture over and over and over again is going to get yourself flagged on Craigslist, but PhotoBucket itself is not is not is not blacklisted. Um, there are some other programs that are. There's plenty of these PhotoBucket type sites out there, Flickr, uh, TinyPick, and, and other ones. Uh, I haven't used Flickr. I have used TinyPick, and I have not gotten good results with TinyPick. But I have never had an issue with Photo Bucket, so I recommend just using Photo Bucket. Um, that ends this tutorial of shrinking the links. Uh, use the, t uh, the, the redirects underneath this video and uh, some of the sites that I've posted for you underneath this video in order to uh, 
further differentiate your ad. Um, and then if, if one of those isn't working, then don't use that ad anymore. Um, don't use VZT URL, um, use one of the other sites. Uh, if you uh, run out of the sites that I've provided, go to Google and type in, uh, you know, URL shrinking, uh, tiny URL sites, uh, you know, stuff like that, and, you know, find a bunch of them that nobody's heard of, and then your ads will start posting again. But that's essentially how you change that snippet code into um, a link shortening. And uh, that ends this video tutorial. We'll move along to actually posting ads in the next tutorials. Uh, thank you, and uh, have a great day.